So that's mom and dad coming down. How long have they been married? My parents? Call it 37 years? 35, so that would be 36 or 37. 37, I'd say. Okay, this is Courtney's mom coming down. Okay. After she gets seated, your, her son goes around. We'll go and go out. Not quite yet. Okay. You guys look beautiful.
so, so you don't, so you can come up, okay? okay mommy. Take your time. Okay, yeah. Yeah, go that way. Good afternoon, everyone. That little boy reminded of me. <laughs> swinging on the bar. <laughs> Welcome to this very beautiful church of St. Augustine to celebrate Kevin and Courtney's solemn ceremony of wedding, a very blessed moment for their parents, family, and friends, but most especially for themselves. This historic church in Philadelphia here in an old city is a reminder to us of the gift that we all share together, a gift of freedom, a gift where men and women in the past and the present continue to labor to hold together that freedom. So as we celebrate Kevin and Courtney's wedding today, may the gift of freedom also be a time of thanksgiving as we celebrate in this beautiful church the gift of life. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, peace, and the love of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. We pray. God our Father, you have given life and nourished life in Courtney and Kevin through the gift of family, friendship. May that gift of life continue to be developed in each of their lives as they join together today in your presence and ours to celebrate the special gift of life. We give you thanks and we ask you with your spirit to guide them each day of their life, that they might know true freedom in marriage and the joyfulness that comes from love for each other. Send that spirit upon us, and may we all see together the gift of God's love as we celebrate Kevin and Courtney's love for each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. How am I doing? Okay, you sure? Be comfortable. Okay. A reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and makes cloth with skillful hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her fingers apply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears God is to be praised. Give her a reward of her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the second reading. have the gospel next. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, I pray not only for my disciples, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me and I in you they also may be in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I have given them the glory you gave me, so that they may be one, as we are one, I and them and you and me, that they may be brought to perfection as one, that the world may know that you sent me and that you love them, even as you love me. Father, they are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also will be, that they may see my glory that you gave me because you loved me before the foundation of the world. 
Righteous Father, the world does not know you, but I know you and I know that you sent me. I have made known to them your name and I will make it known that the love which you love me may be in them and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Kevin and Courtney are exactly what that reading is about. Your love has given us this gift of the two of them. It took me a little while to come to understand the word appreciation, but that's the right word for today. The appreciation of the gift that you have given us. There is no greater gift than the gift of life. And you as parents have given us the gift of life. And we pray that they will know that gift as well and that they will know what you know because there was the first time you held your son and daughter. I will never know that, but it's beyond description. It's the sacred moment of life to hold one's child for the first time. So I like to say thank you, and I wish the community would thank them by. Thank you very much. Okay. Here's the gift. It took a while for the gift to grow up, right? <laughs> um, did anybody get some gray hair and lose some hair in the process? Probably, <laughs> usually do. Um, the reading has a very beautiful note in it. It has a note of parenting, father and son. And it says that the father has given the son his love as mom and dad have given you their love. And Christ is saying, I want to share that with you. And it's a unique love because it doesn't end. Even in the final days of life, it's a beginning of a new life. That's the love that God has for us. Um, there's a beautiful word in the Greek language called pneuma means breath. And we have the word pneumonia. But it also means spirit. And that breath is what you're sharing today. The spirit of each of you, two families coming together, joining into one. And those gifts of spirit are going to be united together and it'll be yours. And that's what you're going to share with your family, that spirit. And it has many colors to it, many shadings. And each child will know a little bit of that shading as each of you know some of the shading in your family and your brother and your sisters, they also know another part of that shading. And that's the spirit. You can't just put it in a container and say it's there. It's expansive, it grows. And um, when you begin to know that, say thanks. Say thanks as often as you can. Um, a friend of mine, he has uh, three daughters and they're now all grown up and they have children. And every day that they would leave the house, he would embrace them and he would say to them, 
I thank God every day for you because you're so much a gift to mom and I myself. So he always thankful and he prayed in thanksgiving to God for them. So I'm happy that someone as far away as Tampa can find someone and discover them up here in the Philadelphia region, Delaware Valley. Uh, that's an, another mystery, right? Sure. Yeah, it was a risk. It's always a risk to pick up and to move. And uh, that's what Israel did. Moses got the people to move to a promised land. They had no idea where it was. And 40 years, they went looking for it. And it was not an easy journey. So when you come to the 40th anniversary, um, remember the story of the journey of Moses and they, they finally got there. But God was with them the whole time. And so was family and friends. They didn't do it alone. So may the spirit that would become your spirit, may the spirit of family and friends always nurture and support you in your lives as a beautiful couple. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you for allowing the Lord to bless you. And may the Lord continue to bless you each day of your life. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I know you came here for what we're going to do next. <laughs> so let's stand up. Stand up. <laughs> Take your time. Move that around. Pull that over yourself. Yeah. I think it's okay. Kevin and Courtney, you have come here to St. Augustine's Church, so that in the presence of family, friends, and the Lord himself, you will state your intention to enter into marriage. May the spirit of the Creator that gave you life from the very beginning and called you by name. God's love for you is calling each of you by name. And you will exchange that name with each other today, a blessing of your spirit to join together to become one spirit. May the Lord who has blessed you in the gift of baptism continue to bless you each day of your life. And may the gifts of faith, hope, and love that we had in the second reading May the gift of love, the greater of the three gifts, continue to be alive in your lives. Okay. So my question. Kevin and Courtney, have you come here freely to enter into marriage? Yes. Did everybody hear them? Yes. yes. Are you prepared to follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other as long as you both shall live? Yes. yes. Are you pre prepared to accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Yes. yes. Great. Since this is your intention to enter into this covenant of matrimony, join your right hands and now declare your consent before God, family, and friends. I, Kevin, take you, Courtney, to be my wife. I, Kevin, take you, Courtney, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you. To love you. And to honor you. And to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Courtney, take you, Kevin, to be my husband. I, Courtney, take you, Kevin, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the Lord. May the Lord gift you with the spirit so that the fidelity of this consent may be alive each day of your lives, so that what God has joined together, let no one divide. 
We ask this through Christ our Lord. Lord, I bless these rings, which are a sign of Kevin and Courtney's love for each other. May they always be a sign of that love each day of their lives, and may it always remind them of the love that they received in family and the love that they received the first day of life when God called both of them by name. Courtney, take and wear this ring. Court, Courtney, take, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. I'm sorry. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Kevin, take and wear this ring. Kevin, take and wear this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now you can kiss. You guys are going back there. Please stand for our prayer of the faithful. We ask that God's Spirit be with us as we pray for the special needs of our sisters and brothers, especially those in our family and neighborhood.
that we may always offer encouragement and support to them and so help them to live up to the promises that they have made to each other today. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, that Courtney and Kevin and all of us may be true signs of God's compassion to them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the dead, especially for the deceased members of the Catholic and Haslow families, especially Teresa and Mary Pugh, that they may enjoy God's mercy and eternal rest, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. As a child rests his head on his mother's knee, we come before you, Lord, with these petitions knowing that you only give us what we truly need. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Time. Go ahead. remain standing. Let us pray. May the breath of God's Spirit, which gave you the gift of life, may that Spirit guide you each day of your lives. And as family comes into your life, may your Spirit be joined with God's Spirit, that that unity will nurture the lives of family, neighbors, and friends. And may that Spirit be a light God in you each day of your life. And this I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Amen.